Hey guys, Chris here from Toy Surprises for You. Now who's looking forward to watching the great race? Because in this video, I'm going to be opening the two famous brothers. We've got Shooting Star Gordon and we've got the Flying Scotsman. So that's pretty cool. So both these trains work with the Trackmaster set and obviously they're the really fast trains as well, so that's really cool. Uh, Motorize, if we have a quick look at them, see we've got the, uh, the Great Race down there. Picture of the Great Race. This is the Flying Scotsman. So we can see his patterns, the cloud patterns on him. Now, as some of you already know, Gordon and the Flying Scotsman are brothers. If we have a look at the back, here's the whole collection. So, there is um, Lightning Thomas, but unfortunately I don't have that one. What I've got is the Gordon and the Flying Scotsman. So they're the ones we'll be opening in this video. So how about we open the Flying Scotsman first? If I just remove Gordon, here we go. Here he is. The Flying Scotsman. So here he is, the Flying Scotsman. We have another look at him. He does look a little bit like Gordon, doesn't he? And I'm sure he's just as fast. So there's the Flying Scotsman. A really, really nice engine to add to your collection if you do have uh, Tomy Trackmaster engines. I know I've got a lot of them. I have loads, but I haven't got a Flying Scotsman, so there we go. Okay, next up, we've got Shooting Star Gordon. As we can see, the star pattern on his side. And he's also got a truck with him with a couple of finish flags. So let's open, oh, if we just have, I think the back of the box is the same. Yes, yeah, exactly the same. So let's open him up. Take him out. And we have the truck. Okay. So here he is, Shooting Star Gordon. He's got a very similar face expression to the Flying Scotsman. <laughs> there it is, and there's the truck with the, with the uh, finished flags, the checkered flags. So yeah. Two really nice engines to add to my collection. The Flying Scotsman and Shooting Star Gordon. Very nice. Put these down here. Whoops. So that was good fun, can't wait to start playing with those. Um, so they're two of the main characters in Thomas the Tank Engine's The Great Race. How about now we watch a story featuring even more characters from The Great Race. Hope to see you soon, bye!
<laughs> the diesels are up to no good again. They were planning something. Meanwhile, Thomas was given the task of delivering the great race trophy to the event. Thomas was very proud. It was a lovely trophy. So the diesels had their eye on it. They sprung into action. Diesel 10 pretended to break down points. Thomas arrived. Oh no, have you broken down? asked Thomas. Yes, I have, lied Diesel 10. Don't worry, I'll help you, said Thomas. But as Thomas was distracted, Diesel got his mini ghost to help out. It uncoupled Thomas's trucks and vanished. Right, I'm all better now, said Diesel 10, and he rushed off. Thomas felt good about helping and left too, without his trucks. Diesel took them away. They had stolen the trophy. Thomas hadn't even noticed. Until he met Percy. Hello Percy, he said. Do you like my cargo? What cargo? asked Percy. Um, the shiny trophy right behind me, said Thomas. There is no trophy, said Percy. What? cried Thomas. He had a little think. Oh no. I bet the diesel stole it from me earlier. Don't worry, I know who can help, said Percy. Follow me. And off they went. He took Thomas to the Avengers headquarters. Iron Man and Thor were there. Hello, said Percy. We need your help. The Great Race Trophy has been stolen, said Thomas. We can help, they replied. I'll check the screen to see where it is now, said Iron Man. Oh, it's quite a long way away, he said. Oh, I'll never get it on time, said Thomas. Thor had an idea. Thomas, let me hit you with my hammer, he said. What? asked Thomas. Trust me. So Percy and Iron Man watched. Thomas suddenly felt like he had loads of energy. This energy boost will only last a short while, said Thor. Go and get the trophy, cried Percy. So Thomas rushed off. He was lightning quick. He very quickly caught up with the diesels. They were heading for a crossing. Thomas had an idea. Just as Diesel was going over the crossing, Thomas sped past. What was that? asked Diesel 10. The other Diesel couldn't believe his eyes. The, the trophy, it just disappeared, he mumbled. What? cried Diesel 10. It can't just disappear. But it had. Thomas was so quick, the Diesels didn't see him coming. And he took the trophy back. So the Diesels were defeated again, and Thomas delivered the trophy on time.